we are going to use Heroku. If you have not created a Heroku account, you can do so by going to Heroku.com or just searching for Heroku on Google. I'm just going to my account and you can see there is already four apps created. For our purposes of creating a Twitter bot, we are going to say we're going to create a new app and we're going to call the app's name Twitter bot for retweeting. All right, that name is available. I'm just going to say Europe. I'm going to create the app. And now you have a few options that you can go and do. You can see there is a deployment method where Heroku is going to get your Twitter bots code from. And then you get the Heroku Git, which is using the Heroku CLI. You can, he can get it directly from GitHub. So if you've gone and pushed your code to GitHub, you um, can just tell Heroku to go get it there. And then the third option is a container registry. And for this video, we are going to use connect to GitHub. So that is on the assumption that you have gone and pushed your code to a repository in GitHub. Now, before I go and I add my coding to this repository, I need to make sure that my API keys for my Twitter bot is not in my coding. As the repository is public, you do not want everyone to see your Twitter API keys because then they can use it and do a lot of things with it that you don't want them to do. So you need to hide those Twitter keys in environmental variables. As you can see, here is my coding and you can see these are my Twitter API keys. So I need to go and change them so that they are not explicitly mentioned um, when I go before I push them to the Git repository. So I'm gonna change them and they are changed. I'm using this environ library from Python and I need to add it to my import as well, or make sure that I import it on my coding so that Heroku knows that it needs to use it. And we do that by just adding um, import OS, and I'm from OS import environ, and then these should be okay. So now these four variables will be added later as environmental variables that is external from your coding. So that is okay. So you think that's it. I have gone and put it on my GitHub. I can now go and deploy it on Heroku. No, you still need a few more other files. The requirements text file you need, a proc file and a runtime file. These three files are necessary to give to Heroku so that the Heroku cloud service can make sure that it runs your bot correctly. Without these files, you will get a lot of errors. And I'm going to show you how to add them now. The first thing we are going to create is a requirements file. And the way you do that is to say pip freeze and then requirements text. So if we click that, into that it has created it and if you go back to your folder you can see there is the requirements file created now if we open it up to have a look to see what exactly it is you will see that it is a text file with all the python libraries that you're going to use and what their versions are so you can see there is numpy the ones that we're interested in is this tweepy one which we are using which is 3.8.0 so these are just a, this is just a text file to make sure that Heroku is able to install all the libraries that you are going to use in your Twitter bot and that your Twitter bot will then have these available to use. So that is the purpose of the requirements text file and this is how you create it. The next file that we need to add before we can deploy it on Heroku is the runtime text file. This is just to tell Heroku what Python version you are using. Now at the time of recording this, TweetPy doesn't work on Python 3.7 and up so I'm specifying Python 3.6.9 here, just to make sure that the TweetPy library can work and we can use the Twitter API correctly. And then lastly is the proc file. The proc file is just telling Heroku that this will be a worker. The worker meaning that it's, this is just a command that is being issued. Um, it's not like the web where you create a, a website. This is just a worker. It doesn't need to have a, have a um, URL. Um, and you can see here, I've written worker double um, dot python twitterbot.py so that is just also the command that you would usually enter onto your command prompt on your local machine this is the command that Heroku will be running at the startup of this worker or this twitterbot so that is just python twitterbot is the name of our python code and dot py all right and there is all my files that I need to deploy to Heroku the next step is to go now to the Heroku site and linking this repository with your Heroku app. So this was the Heroku app Twitter bot for retweeting, the deployment method, we are going to select GitHub and then we need to say here at the bottom, click the button, connect with GitHub. You can see that is that, the repositories, um, 
we're going to say authorize Heroku and then we're just going to enter our passwords and there you say now we need to go and click the repo name we're going to go search for it there we go that's the one we connect with it and out enable automatic deploys so every push to the branch you specify here will deploy a new version of this app. That is absolutely fine. And that looks to be it. The last thing that you now need to do is to go and add your Twitter API keys to your config variables. Now you can see here, when you go to your settings for this app, there is an option to say reveal config variables and then there is the key as well as its value. So now you need to go and add all these var the key names with its value. Now you will know the key names is these consumer key, consumer secret, access key, access secret. Those are the names of the keys. If we go back to our website, you will see those are the key and then the value would be your Twitter key API or API key. To get the the build to initiate i have just quickly gone and pushed some irrelevant changes to my code just to get heroku to trigger the automatic deployment and you can see there's little dots and latest activity showing that it is the build build is in progress you can say view build progress and there is our cmd saying processing proc file has declared the type as a worker and now you can follow along and see how Heroku is busy deploying your bot. Build finish there at the bottom. It says everything is done, which is great. Now we can go back. Let's if we go back to overview, see there's one deploy. Oh, you can see this is still off. <laughs> if you look at the Heroku overview, if you go to the overview tab, you will say worker Python Twitter.py and you can see it is turned off. So we need to go and we need to change that. So we can say configure and we're going to turn it on, click the edit button, turn it on, confirm, 